When we open up our Bibles to 2 Kings chapter 6 verses 5 and 6, it says, As one was felling a log, his hack's head fell into the water, and he cried out, Alas, my master, it was borrowed. Verse 6, Then the man of God said, Where did it fall? When he showed him the place, he cut off a stick and threw it in there and made the iron float. Iron floating on water? That is a miracle. That's impossible because by nature, iron when thrown into water will begin to sink in. But here we see a miracle happening. Now we also need to understand in those days to have an axe head was something that was very expensive. It was not common as today. So here we see that something that was valuable was lost. It was no way going to be found again. And that's why here we see that the servant was desperate. He cried out. What does that speak to us? We need to understand that when the word of God speaks something, it's not just written for a story, but has a meaning for us. When we open up our Bibles to the Old Testament, we know that when the people of Israel faced the bitter waters, Moses took a log of wood and threw it in the water and made the bitter water sweet. What does that speak to us? It speaks to us about the cross of Jesus. We need to understand that our lives were also hopeless. Our lives were also bitter. There was no way, by nature, there was no way that we could have had life. There was no way that we could have been restored. Many of us were in a pit. Many of us were lost in darkness. There was no way that we would be found again. But Jesus, he gave up his throne. He gave up heaven for you and me, became man so that you and I could be found. And through his death, he's given us life. Through his death, he's given us hope. We have got a great future because of Jesus. Here the log of wood made the difference for the bitter water. Here that stick made the difference for that axe head to be found. The same way Jesus, the death of Jesus has made the difference for you and me to have life. Remember, it has not come cheap. Your life has not come cheap. He has paid a great price. And no matter how much sacrifices you do, no matter how much you give, no matter how much penance you do, no matter how much fasting you do, it can never pay back what Jesus has done for us. The best thing you can do is give him your life because he has given his life so that you can find life. The cross speaks about you who were lost have been found because of a great price that was paid for you. God bless you.